Okay, so to run this electrical, I tell you what I'm gonna do. So one of these I wrapped in electrical tape just to kind of keep the wires together, and I'm probably gonna do the same for this one just to keep them nice and neat. I just haven't done it yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this panel off right here, and I'm actually just gonna notch this out so that way I can run um, my electrical wiring uh, just through here and into there, make things nice and easy. Um, no more, not to drill any holes. Just gotta take a, just something to, to trim that down. So that's my plan. So I'm gonna take this cover off, just some screws, and we're just gonna notch this off and I'll show you how I do that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my um, Dremel and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna sand a section. I kinda got my thumb where I want it. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take a piece off. And that's pretty much it. There we go. Let's see how it fits. Oh, perfect. Piece of cake, right up in there. Didn't have to drill any more holes in this panel. Bada bing, bada boom. This is an overview of my electrical pieces that I'm gonna be using. This is the electrical kit offered by Wake Makers. I will put it in the description below. What you're gonna get, you're gonna get a switch and a cover. This is the socket for the switch, pre-wired to these quick disconnects, weather packed. That goes onto there like that. One lead that goes to the pump and one lead that goes to the battery. This hooks onto the battery and that's it. So really all I have to do is hook this up positive and negative and the rest of this is all gonna clip together. Of course this will clip underneath there to the pumps and all of that. So another thing I gotta do is I gotta mount my switch and I think I'm gonna show you guys where I'm gonna mount it. This is the other piece I bought. I bought this off Amazon. I will have a link in the description below. It is aluminum or aluminum for all you other folks. Comes with the screws. I know this is a two pump kit that I have, but I got a third one in case I decide to add a third one later. It's there. And right there behind the fire extinguisher cup is where I plan on going with this. It's kind of out of the way, you know, uh, it's got the wiring close to everything. I think that's exactly where I'm gonna go. I can just switch back here, click, click, click. Boom, boom, boom. I can sit in this seat right here and turn them on and off. And uh, that's the plan. Also, the kit that I got is the, the, the shortest length. 10 foot battery lead, 10 foot pump hose lead. Everything goes to the switch. So you gotta have 10 feet from where I'm hooking up to the battery. And then likewise, uh, I think I'll be fine. Let's find out. All right, there's our connection, positive, negative. Um, if you're curious on how I did this, my dual battery setup, I actually have a really good video. It's my dual battery video is one of my first videos, I think, on this setup and man, is it nice. So now I just gotta put my caps, my protective caps back on. And then that's really about the hardest part. All right, the wiring has been run. Click there, go behind this panel. This is this gray wire that follows this loom against the back here. Comes up through there and around. And then I'm just gonna tie into this existing harness. And we got plenty of lead to take us all the way up to where the switch is. Likewise, I'm plugged into my pump. My pump my pump leads come all the way to here. So I have more than enough to get to there. Now, if I was gonna put it up front, a lot of people, a lot of people go up to here. Um, probably won't have enough room. Probably, you probably have to go with the next size, you have to go with the next size um, 
larger battery harness. The pump harness would be fine, but the battery. But again, I'm putting mine in the back out of the way. That's what I want to do. So, what I need to do is get everything zip tied up to here. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to cut our holes and mount this in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to mount this panel. I'm going to drill my holes. Then I'm going to take a sharp, I'm going to take a marker and I'm going to mark exactly my cutouts for the switches. And then, um, and then I'm going to pull the plate off and then I'll cut the rest of it out. Uh, so this way I get everything centered and all that other stuff. I'm using the eighth inch bit, drill that out, run those screws in, and that's what we're going to do. Okay, everything's marked. All my holes are drilled. I had my template right here. So this metal crossbar is fine. So pretty much what I need to do is I need to cut straight across here, straight across there, and just cut this whole rectangular piece out. Everything's mounted. Everything's screwed in. I ended up using some stainless steel screws. Uh, the screws in the kit were super cheap and I just knew they would bust. So, we got the switch mounted. I just gotta get the other switch in. I got another switch I'm gonna put in here that's not for ballast, but it's gonna tie up the spot. We have to come in, we gotta hook this up underneath, plug everything in, and then I'm done, son! <laughs> 